Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss uh, diffusion and osmosis. Uh, the first slide uh, shows some illustrations I had uh, got from uh, the internet. Uh, of course, the first thing is uh, what's the meaning of supercooling? It is a situation where uh, we decrease the, the temperature of the liquid up to below its freezing point. You see, uh, at that uh, point the, 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 the there is no solidification you see so whenever I uh, increase the temperature uh, above this uh, super cooling it begins to freeze and uh, causes uh, solidification and this is the picture of the recent uh, apparatus used this is the apparatus, apparatus to, to measure the freezing point where we can uh, estimate later on the osmolality and this uh, apparatus uh, measures the uh, osmotic uh, uh, pressure. And this is the uh, basic uh, uh, device to show the osmosis where there is a semi-parallel membrane separating a, a solution from a solvent. And this is a, 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 a picture showing what's the meaning of osmosis where the pure water goes through a semi-parallel membrane to a, a, a sugar solution. Uh, and then uh, this sugar hinders a further spread uh, creating what we call the osmotic pressure. These are some uh, points I had uh, got from another book, if you want to have a, a hint about it. The first uh, slide uh, is made of four, five points. D don't be mixed up from this slide. Of course, the slide, I know it is, uh, it is a bit complicated, but uh, you, you must put in your mind, they are going, we are going to discuss the uh, five points. First of all, what's the meaning of diffusing? Uh, diffusing means that the molecules are transferred uh, through a layer or an area, you see, through a solution and, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, and we can represent it uh, 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 as the passage of gases through the lung. It goes through the lung and then it goes to the alveolar uh, capillary membrane to the blood and uh, further to the tissue. So all this process, whether it is uh, it is from gas to gas or gas to liquid, is the process of a diffusion regarding uh, the passage of gases in the human being. The first uh, item is the factors affecting the rate of diffusion. We're going to discuss mainly two items. Of course, this figure you can increase. I had a problem to, to illustrate the the PowerPoint, so you can later on increase the size of this slide. So uh, factors affecting the rate of diffusion are uh, mainly two factors, you see. And in addition to the two main factors, which uh, depends upon the fix, fixed flow and the ground flow, uh, are the another factors that affect diffusion is the membrane concern and its area and its thickness, you see. So you must put uh, these points, five points in your consideration. First point is thick. From uh, law of diffusion, where the uh, the 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 relation uh, of pressure, the pressure on the rate of diffusion, the difference of uh, the tension between uh, the the gas from this area to this area makes the rate increased accordingly. You see, so uh, this is a homogeneous uh, phase. You see, from gas to gas, but it can be uh, modified in case of the gas uh, being transferred to liquid. Like, for instance, we have carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, as you can see, it diffuses uh, much more than oxygen in the liquid. Whenever it diffuses, it, cre it creates a tension. Tension means the partial of the gas in a liquid. This difference between the, pen, uh, the tension uh, inside the liquid and outside, uh, it makes the more, more, uh, this difference makes more uh, gas uh, going through the liquid. So these are the factors that uh, govern the passage of uh, a gas through a liquid. Uh, in case of the passage of, uh, of carbon dioxide and oxygen uh, from the lung to the capillaries, uh, of course, the time taking for the capillary to bypass uh, the alveolar is around 0 0.7275 to seconds. After after 0.1 second uh, 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 equilibrium occurs in the alveoli between the tension of the carbon dioxide in it and in the alveoli, you can see from the diagram. And after 0.1 second, there is an equilibrium. You see, so the carbon dioxide uh, goes through this 
difference in tension till equilibrium occurs. Uh, regarding oxygen, it takes a longer time for it to be uh, diffused to the hemoglobin. It takes around half of the, uh, the distance, the time where the blood takes. So it's around 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and, and so forth. So what makes the difference? It makes the difference two factors. First of all, the difference with the, the, with, with the spread of or the diffusion of carbon dioxide uh, regarding its easiness to diffuse then uh, oxygen. The second thing is that the time taken for the oxygen to combine with hemoglobin. So oh, this makes the two uh, things uh, or the mix the difference between the absorption of oxygen and carbon dioxide to the hemoglobin. The second point we are discuss the pulmonary uh, diffusion capacity uh, and CO2 transfer test. It is a test where we uh, inhale a very man minimal amount of uh, carbon dioxide, 0.1%, which is known to be toxic, of course. The point is that uh, carbon dioxide, as we know, is, is, is combined with, with hemoglobin much more than oxygen. Up to that, there is no enough time for it to uh, to be present in the pulmonary circulation, you see? So it goes from the alveoli through the blood immediately to the, uh, the hemoglobin combining with it. So we can consider that the, uh, the tension or the presence of, uh, of more carbon dioxide, the pulmonary circulation is almost zero. So uh, uh, this gives a hint that the, uh, whenever there's a problem in the diffusion is the, uh, is the matter of the a lung, you see, not the circulation. So, uh, of course, in disease as uh, asbestosis and uh, sarcoidosis and uh, uh, systemic lupus uh, are affected by this uh, diffusion capacity of carbon monoxide. Of course, of co if there is uh, edema, of course, edema will affect, of course, this diffusion. You see, uh, this, the third point I'm going to talk about is the uh, practical aspect of diffusion. We're going to talk about uh, one, two, uh, three, four points. You see, uh, first of all, uh, halocene is known to be absorbed to, uh, we're talking about, of course, uh, diffusion. Uh, absorbed to the uh, uh, rubber containers, as we know before. So this is why nowadays most of the anesthetic uh, apparatus are, are made of silicon or uh, polyvinyl chloride. The second thing, I'm sorry, the, 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 the picture is much more small. Uh, the patient uh, suffering from the, the, the decompression uh, sickness, the deep uh, driver, the divers, whenever they go deep in the, uh, in the sea and then they, uh, they breathe nitrogen high, uh, high pressure. When they ascend rapidly, this high pressure is being released or nitrogen being released suddenly uh, causing uh, bubbles and causing what we call decompression sickness. All this is correlated to uh, uh, diffusion. The, the, third, uh, the third point is the nitrous beside uh, going through, suppose, a bubble in a capillary, uh, ca capillary uh, loop. You see, you have a capillary where there is a nitrogen. Nitrogen, of course, is less soluble than an oxygen. Uh, and then I'm sorry, nitrous oxide. So uh, uh, the difference of the tension of uh, carbon uh, nitrous oxide definitely it's from uh, 50 uh, kilopascal, say 50 percent nitrous oxide going uh, to this area which is zero. So it di diffuses through this bubble, increasing the bubble. You see, because uh, the difference of tension and the more soluble solubility of nitrous oxide co uh, in comparison to nitrous, this will expand the uh, bubble. So it, it makes a problem whenever we uh, operate on the ear where the, uh, the graft may be uh, uh, hindered or it, it may, uh, of course, a, a patient with uh, pneumothorax may expand this uh, pneumothorax or has, suppose, a solitary uh, uh, bag in the, in the lung. It will increase. So, a solitary system, sorry. The fourth point we will discuss is the effect of the molecular size. We said before that the factors affecting is the uh, partial pressure or the or the uh, tension gradient, and the second is the uh, molecular uh, 
uh, weight size. You see, we, we, we go after Graham's law, which states that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportion to the square root of the molecular weight. You see, so uh, 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 according to this law, uh, oxygen, which is 32 as a molecular weight, will diffuse more than carbon dioxide. But uh, this does not happen actually because this this diffusion is is based on uh, in, in, in uh, not on biological membranes like the complex biological membrane uh, in the human being where uh, carbon dioxide is more soluble of uh, or in in water that makes a difference. You see. And of course, this this is this uh, this uh, diagram shows the broken pipe where hydrogen is being uh, released from it, and then goes upwards. You see, because it uh, has a small uh, molecular weight in comparison to uh, ether. If the ether bo bottle is being broken, it it's descend because it's uh, density more than air, uh, more than air. I'm sorry, and then it descends down on the bottom of the of the uh, floor of the room creating what we call we call the uh, blue flame you see this of course uh, is uh, is uh, is affected of course by the molecular uh, uh, weight difference uh, the point that whenever i inject uh, suppose look anesthetic uh, to uh, to block a nerve i must be uh, as much as possible close to this nerve because of course the diffusion of the liquid is different from the diffusion uh, of gases so it takes a long time and and it's not more difficult. So this is the point that I must remember whenever I want to inject a, a local anesthetic, I must be nearby the uh, uh, nerve. And this is uh, a, 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 the, the two other uh, a tube showing the spread of ether or uh, hydrogen according to their molecular uh, weight. Uh, injection local anesthetic, of course, in the CSF, uh, the spread of the local anesthetic is affected by the convection current and, of course, of the den density uh, of the local anesthetic, whether it's hyperbaric or uh, uh, hypobaric. The five uh, point, the fifth point we will discuss is osmosis, which uh, uh, explains that if we have a container and the container is separated by a semi permeable membrane, which is difficult to be uh, constructed really. So this uh, semi permeable membrane will separate uh, on the left side a, sol a solvent from a solution. A solution means a solvent and a solid. So the uh, solvent on the left side will go to the right side according to fixed principle, ac according to the uh, tension gradient. So it will keep on going on till the solid present in the solution will hinder further spread. You see, it's countering the balance. It's, it's ca countering balancing the uh, effect. So this is, this is what we call osmosis, where the solid uh, affects the spread of the solvent. So uh, it will keep on going till it, it, it elevated to a certain level. At that, at that level, uh, it will create a pressure. This pressure is the surface tension, you see? So the large solids, first of all, cannot pass. It's the point the semi permit cannot pass, but the solvent can pass. Of course, we can uh, 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 figure out the surface tension by the height, or if it is a, a closed container, as we, we will see in the next slide, we can uh, measure the uh, gauge pressure to estimate the uh, surface tension. The slide begins with uh, uh, almost five points discussing also the osmosis. We are keeping on discussing the, uh, the, 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 the osmosis chapter. Uh, this is the uh, comp compartment where we had said before that we, uh, if we close it above, we can get the pressure or the, the the osmotic pressure through this gauge pressure. You see, if this one upper one is being uh, closed, and this is a solid, and this is a solvent. So uh, there is a situation where if 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 I put uh, if I get a, a volume of a of a solution in twenty two point four liter, of course we remember that from the uh, figured that one mole of any gas at standard, standard temperature pressure occupies 22.4 liters. So we are uh, resembling the situation where we put 22.4 uh, liter of uh, of a solution in this compartment, and we put it, uh, we get one mole of 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 the solution, and at the same time we have a temperature of zero. 
all these three circumstances will create will create a, a surface tension of one atmosphere, which of one atmosphere. You see, this is the first point to be discussed about uh, osmosis. The second point is the molarity and uh, osmolarity. Molarity is the number of the moles or millimoles present. You see, I, I express it by molarity. This molarity creates an osmolarity. You see, so molarity creates an osmolarity. So whenever I have a solution as Ringer lactate comp 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 uh, made of the made of the uh, constituents of uh, sodium, potassium, and calcium, and so forth, and lactate must be ionized, this this uh, amount present in millimoles are being collected to figure out the end result of to be around two uh, eight seven uh, millimole liter. All this collectively. Uh, are uh, many more they create a, an osmolality you see they create an osmotic pressure the third point we will discuss is the most uh, fluids in the in, in the human being uh, uh, are around the, in the constituents of 300 millimore per liter you see 99% of this amount is made of uh, electrolytes as sodium and chloride and bicarbonate. And the plasma proteins compromise, co comprise only one millimole of the lit of liter. You see, so 99, it's made of uh, the electrolytes and only one uh, millimole uh, per liter of, uh, of uh, plasma, you see. And this too creates the osmotic pressure, which we'll discuss later on. And now we'll discuss what we call the red uh, cell uh, fragility test. Of course, most of the fluids uh, given to the human being are isotonic. Or whenever I give a, high, a hypotonic solution uh, containing 200 millimore uh, uh, per liter, this will increase the work pressure in the RBCs and causes the RBCs to burst. This is normally. But if if these RBCs are being burst uh, with more uh, uh, contained solution, more than 200, that means that there's something defect in the wall. And this uh, is the basis to, uh, uh, to figure out or to find uh, hemolytic uh, anemia. Now we come to uh, the capillary loop. We have a capillary loop. A capillary, ha loop ha has, uh, capillary loop has a venous side and an arterial side. Uh, and this arterial side, of course, is, uh, has an hydrostatic pressure, which is, uh, is the, the pressure difference between the uh, 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 osmotic pressure of the fluids and the hydrostatic of the blood pressure. So uh, the difference is... is, is uh, you have the, the, the blood pressure around seven kilo kilopascal, and the, uh, the osmotic pressure is around the half three point seven. So this difference makes the fluids and the and carbon dioxide oxygen uh, being released from the arterial side to nourish the tissue, and then uh, going back to the venous side where it is is zero. So uh, the difference will uh, be capable for the contents to go to the venous side. Of course, if there is edema or there is hypoalbuminemia, where the, uh, the, the amount of albin is much less uh, in the human being, uh, creating a pressure less than two kilopascal, this will, uh, will, will, will hinder this uh, enormous physiological process. Most measurement of the osmotic pressure, of course, is important to, to, to minimize the occurrence, of course, of uh, pulmonary edema or pulmonary edema occurs whenever the alb the albumin is much decrease decrease so uh, the 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 instrument used is is is, is what uh, we are shown in the figure upwards where we put the uh, plasma on the right side and the reference on uh, solution on the left side this this uh, will create uh, the, the 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 osmotic pressure which can uh, give us a hint about the oncotic pressure of the plasma uh, in such circumstances. The seventh point is measurement of osmolality. Of course, osmolality is different than osmolarity, and this is uh, analog to uh, molarity and mol uh, 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 molarity. You see, uh, molarity is, as we said before, is 
uh, you, are, you, are, you are putting the, the solids in a one kilogram liquid. So it's not uh, affected by temperature. But molality is, uh, is you, are, you are put it in, in a volume of one liter. So it's not, it is, it is, uh, it is affected by uh, temperature. You see, so, uh, uh, so uh, molality is, 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 is much uh, a scientific uh, use. So uh, a measurement of osmolality, which is analog, as we said before, is, uh, uh, it depends upon two points. Depends upon the character of uh, a solution. What's the meaning of the character of any solution which uh, contains uh, moles? Uh, it has an, a, a, a capability to, to induce uh, osmotic uh, uh, pressure. Uh, this character are called uh, the characters of the uh, solid are called colligative properties. This colligative properties will be shown to measure its uh, uh, osmolality. First, uh, test is the freezing point. If you put one uh, mole of a solid with one kilogram of water, it's capable to decrease the freezing point from zero to 1.8. So a solid is capable to decrease the freezing point. This is why they throw saline on uh, snow in Europe and in America. You see, how do we estimate this uh, osmolality with the, the, this, uh, this uh, statement? We use the osmometer where we have a, a, a tube is being put, it, put in, in a, refriger a refrigerator bath and we have a steerer, steerer to steer, and then we have a, a temperature sensor. You see, this, this apparatus creates what we call the supercooling. What does it mean that we are, uh, this supercooling, I, I think it, I, I read before, but it's made of a circuit which has two probes. These probes are capable to decrease the, the temperature of the solution beyond its uh, uh, freezing point. So to, to reach this point, of course, by this uh, this apparatus, and then after reaching this point, we begin warming till we reach the freezing point where solidification occurs. At that point, we can notice from the temperature. Of course, the the now uh, recent apparatus uh, uh, calibrates this temperature immediately in osmolality number of uh, 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 osmoles pr present in the solution. You see, so we just put two millimeter of suppose as uh, urine in the in the in the in the jar present in front of us where it's been steered this amount we want to know the amount of uh, millimoles present in it you see this is the first uh, test to uh, to to measure the osmolality the second uh, test has been uh, based on the rolls low rolls low as we can see from the figure if if we get uh, the jar we noticed before separated by semi thermal membrane where the solvent and a solid you see this solid decreases as we had said our counter counterbalance the passage of a further further sol solvent at the same time it will decrease the uh, escape of this solvent to the to the to the atmosphere uh, atmosphere uh, to create an uh, a saturated vapor pressure. So this solid is capable to decrease the uh, saturated vapor pressure of this solvent, meanwhile decreases its uh, boiling point. So this is being utilized as a method to estimate the uh, osmolality of this solution. You see, the, the advantage of it, it is uh, it requires a very minimal amount up to that you can uh, measure this, the, the electrolytes in a sweat, you see, by using this uh, rolls uh, uh, low. Azotropes, azotropes are are a, a situation where I mix two two liquids, suppose ether and and uh, halocene or water and alcohol. This 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 creates. Of course, we may, we we mix the, mix them uh, based on uh, density and uh, molecular weight. So uh, we put one uh, one uh, mole of uh, of uh, of halocene with two moles of ether to create a, 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 an azotrope. This azotrope has a special boiling point. You see, uh, regarding regarding alcohol, we never can increase the concentration of alcohol beyond uh, ninety six because because uh, uh, it is diffi difficult 
to uh, if, if we mix alcohol and, uh, and and water it's very difficult for us to distillate or to 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 create what we call fraction distillation to separate both of them fraction and distillation means that i i boil and then i make the liquid uh, uh, vapor vaporize and then i cause a, a condensation to collect so it's very difficult in such uh, situation to separate alcohol from uh, from water so this is why we we, we find difficulty to get 100% uh, alcohol it is a tough subject and i i i i feel that it's tough really so i hope that i succeed and i will prove my in, myself uh, uh, from day to day والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته